Good afternoon, Animal Warfare historian, and we made a couple of oopsies. Uh, an oopsie is one of those moments in which you do something and you are convinced that you're doing it right, yet you're doing it wrong. First one is that we almost published Warfare and Operation series, season 1, episode 7, without having even started editing episode 6. We therefore had to rush episode 6, that was already recorded, huh? just not edited. And we are halfway there. Hopefully, episode 6 will be out before the end of the next week, and a week later, you will have episode 7. However, we are here mainly for our oopsie on our free-to-play tabletop game, Crispy Light. Almost a month ago, we published update 1.1, in which we added new units. Yet, as one of you had notified us, we forgot to add the unit counters that are necessary to play the game, as those are the printed pawns. Why we forgot? Well, we are dumb AF, but mainly it was because we had started working on a new type of universal unit counter that we then paused working on for various reasons, and after a while we assumed that we had done the old style of counters for the new units, and that we had enough time to add the new type of counters in the following update. However, since we currently are missing the unit counters for the new units, and since the addition of the new unit counters will mean a small update, we decided to release the new system of unit counters. Now, let's get started. The first thing you will say when you will see the new counters will probably be something like, what the heck is this? However, do not worry, it is not hard to read. The main thing you will notice is the NATO symbol that indicates the type of unit indicated. By the way, we did a video on explaining how NATO symbology works, check it out later. On top of the NATO symbol, you have the unit cost, that is also indicated in the rulebook as points. These are in case you want to set up a budget before the match, to give the players the ability to build their team. This is also for future uses when we will add a campaign. Under the NATO symbol, in the middle you will have the unit code indicated by a letter and by numbers. Yes, some numbers are going to be hard to read, it's because we had to work with a very limited amount of pixels. Under the unit code you will have the range of the unit. In the two boxes, with a different color, you have on the left the attack and on the right the defense value of the unit. If the counter is blue, the unit is from blue team, while if it is red, it's from red team, pretty straightforward. Important thing, you can not only print these unit counters to play in real life, but you can also use them in the Excel mode of the game. How? Well, let me explain. Before, if you wanted to play on Excel, you had to write in the box in which the unit was stationed, the unit code, and this was long and boring. Now you can simply upload the unit on the map and move it around. To upload the unit, you have to open the map you want to play in on Excel. Click on a random tile near the blue team spawn point. Go to Insert, then click on Illustration, and then on Pictures. Click on this device and a window will appear. Search for the Quickspell Light folder, then go on Unit Counters and click on New Counters. Then click on Blue Team and select the units you want to play with. Click OK and Excel will load all those pictures on Excel. You can now move them around, just pay attention not to modify the size. Repeat the same process with the Red Team. When you end playing, just click Exit. If you had saved after you added the pictures, next time you will have them in the same place. If you delete them before you exit Excel, or you did not save, the next time you will open the file, it will only have the map. When you play, we suggest that at the same time, you will do a video or phone call with the other player, as he or she will tell you his or her moves, so that you move his or her units. When you move, you tell him or her what you have done, so that he or she will update his map accordingly. Quite easy, I would say. This brings an end to our video. Hope that you have enjoyed it. If you do find anything on Clickspill Light that does not work at 100%, or if you just want to give us your feedback, please feel free to do so by writing us an email. It will only make the game better and better. Thank you for watching, and remember to always write down all the works you still haven't finished in order to not be like us.